Should I explain the real reason why we got this, all these tires? Yeah. So I just built this Jeep this last spring, and I'm supposed to ha have it re-geared, and I, the, because of COVID, the parts are on back order to have it re-geared, so when you're out on the highway, these 33-inch tires, they're killer on my transmission, so I got to keep the stock tires on it. Then when we get to the trailhead, put the mud tires on it. So that's the reason why. Hey, yeah, y'all. <laughs> y'all. This one might be taking a trip out with me. Good job, bro. Boom. spot up here somewhere to put our tent out of the wind hunker down for a little bit and then blast all this stuff well we found us a hole to put the shelter a little excavation master over there and then digging his side I'll dig my side. Beauty of a foilless tent, man, you can make it so comfortable. I woke up to uglier views, that's for sure. Pop over here and there's a little pond where we can get some water and we'll glass some of this stuff out. See what we see. Still just spitting rain and snow off and on. The winds have kind of calmed us there a little bit. See what we see. I'd drink that straight, I wouldn't even think it. Oh, there's our guide. Yeah, man. It's our breakfast making guide. Trying to do. Just trying to stay dry if you want to know the truth. A good idea. Well, we're still socked in here. Every once in a while the fog will clear and we can glass a little bit down here. Up above. And then there's another little bridge around the back side of this that we can glass. But uh I'm catching up on sleep. And yeah, I'm gonna just stop taking some photos and I'm gonna shoot a time lapse of this little valley here. You get really good depth of field with these trees right here in front. You got the open canyon, and that it just kind of shoots through. And then there's some really cool snow-covered mountains farther in the background. So,
Eric, you got a black bear coming towards the tent. Eric, are you awake in there? Eric. Eric Lee. Yeah. You got a black bear coming towards you. How far? Uh, 20 yards. He's on the ridge. He's 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 just hanging out. Hey, get out of there. Me to put one in front of his nose? Yeah. Yeah. This morning I was walking around, I did finally went way in over the hair without a gun, way up over here without a rifle. That thing was probably after me. Tracking you. He's moving out, maybe he'll go away. Sucker has no fear though, did he? Well, the weather finally cleared for us, the fog anyway. It's been spitting rain off and on. So we've been, you know, glassing through a bunch of this stuff here tight. I had a black bear come right up behind me a little bit ago. We had to spook him off. But then we're glassing some of these farther, farther mountains that we can access to, just to see if we can see any movement. I mean, that black bear coming through, was definitely ruddy. He wasn't interested in eating or, you know, rummaging through our food or anything. He was just cruising, so the rut should be going. What do you say there, cowboy? Yeah, man. This is, where, this is worse than my happy place right here. Worse than your happy place? Huh? My happy place. Dream about being all year long, you know. Yeah.
He's coming down for water, probably on or something. her spot and she found her spot. A couple more hours of daylight here, even though it's Bedtime. The days are long. You tell me this isn't one of the coolest places on the planet to have dinner. Tinkling guide over there. Either Hooper or Tinklin, that guy. Always. I always turn the camera on when I'm trying to do my business. He's just always trying to do his business. Tell me this isn't one of the coolest places in the world to have dinner, though, huh? Can't beat it. All right. First, first camp is down. Just got to finish loading up the packs, putting the finishing touches to that. See if we can get into some grizz country instead of black bear country. Some plenty of black bears. Round ones. Comes Eric's fog. Eric doesn't like the fog. Fog is my bane. Fog's worthless. Leaving camp number one, heading for camp number two, wherever that may be. Yet to be determined. That way, somewhere. Special place we have here. Ooh, I can fall on his butt and hurt here. Got some footage of this ptarmigan up here. Low tap. Check out that ptarmigan right there on that. Oh yeah, look at that little bugger. I'm gonna look for it. This time here, they're kind of half brown and half white. Can we eat Tarmy? Are they open? No. Smash them right around. I mean, no. Post up and do some glass in here. Just want to pick this up really carefully. Is that him on the edge of it? Exactly what a grizzly should be doing. Up in the tundra, digging for ground squirrels and stuff. But it's no, it's a black bear. I've seen her share of black bears on this trip. sitting around home doing honeydews, doesn't it? Damn straight.
spotted another black bear. This one looks like a pretty good boar. Down in this bottom. So we're seeing a lot of black bear. You made that look tough. I had turned my head. Yeah. When you were walking. Yeah. And when I turned back around, all I saw was footprints to the edge. Where'd he go? I was like, oh my crap. Eric just committed Harry Carey. <laughs> I did. For a second there, I thought he had slid off the cornice there. Just so you know, we need all the cool footage of you, so you're welcome. Thanks, man. I'm the trigger man. I'm just here to pull the trigger. That's it. Pull the trigger, go bang. You got dual duty. You gotta document this whole thing. You gotta pull the trigger. Oh, he's drinking and eating. I think it is too. Look how narrow his ears are on his head. It's a good look to hide his yeah. He's like, here comes the snow, homeboy out. Seeing some animals, but we're getting some weather now too. So, I guess we're just gonna keep moving down this ridge. sleeping in a snow cave. in right there maybe I don't know there's nowhere to really tuck in All one needs to do is to doesn't melt. Matter. It doesn't matter if it boils. Yeah. The 
it's something else. <laughs> uh, well, what do you say there, Master Guide? A recapper. Well, it's been a good day. We uh, successfully made it down the ridge a little further than where we were at. We had about an hour long hill of a storm that just kicked our butt. We bailed off the ridge and came down here. That ridge was angry today. It did not like us up there today. No, it did not. Full. So we got water for the morning. What do you say about stuff, Tim? I've been doing all the talking, man. Yeah, you're the star of the show, bro. <laughs> this is awesome. Can't beat Alaska. And we're seeing lots of animals. We're just having a good time. Yeah. And I think we're in a good spot. I feel like we're in a good spot. Yeah, I think so. Okay, got all of our camp packed up. Had a little bit of a scare last night. The wind came up real hard. Eric had to pull the pole down on the tent, lay the tent flat on top of us for a little bit. Because the wind got to ripping. But we survived. So now, loading up our mess. Just taking advantage of the morning breeze to dry a few things out. Goal was to stay on top of the ridge and not get our scent down in here though, but man, 100 mile an hour winds up top. There's just no way to survive up there. Yeah. I think we would have survived, but that's all it would have been. Yeah, it would have been misery. Okay, well he looks like he's ready. Not really. <clears throat> I'll get the rest of my jack. Packed. I'm doing an old man way this morning. Oh. You know you got to have your pack if you have to sit down to get it on. Shell slide. Find you a nice fresh set that's not chewed. That one's pretty dang awesome though. Yeah, it's a super big bay valley looking thing, right? It's kind of what's that paddle? Well, we've been glassing this side. Nothing, nothing but a bunch of moose sheds. A couple of caribou down there and one moose. So, but no bears, not a single. Blackie or brownie moving through here. So, we will pop back over the backside, the leeward side, out of the wind. Glass some more up in there, back and forth. And then we'll move up the valley and pop over and cover some of this upper end again and see if something hasn't popped out of the alders or, uh, you know, any of that, so. Wow, check that out, it's Mr. Solo Hunter. Oh wait, I got a cameraman. I'm a professional cameraman. Professional guide. We'll do these. It's windy.
sleeping lazy guide. Smart Efficient. Yeah, because this is coming. And it's black over there. It's coming. It's coming for us. From all angles. Storm from all sides. This one, uh, it has the looks to me like it could hit pretty hard, so. I'll follow my guy's lead. <laughs> we'll see if this tent stays. I have my doubts. I might be pulling the, pulling the center pull out. Dude, it's coming from all angles. Oh, it's, oh, it's coming over the top of us. Been watching this little valley here for a few days now. And then all these upper valleys and just not seeing any tracks or anything. So pack up our junk, go get our camp, work down the valley, meet up with the big A, and then spend the next five days seeing what we see. Not my beanie. Hey, hey, that's good. It's in my pocket. Well, you know, if I was a beanie, I'd be in my pocket too. Shutting her down, go break down camp relocate to the next valley. Ready to go tinkling guide. Camp is gone. Here's a look at, I gotta give you guys a better look at this. Look at this excavating job. This man is the shelter master. We just work with the material that we have. It's just, we just go with the, we just, Could end up being a yard sale. <laughs> Got a tuck. Got a tuck. This will be all fun until I break my tailbone, huh? Then it won't be much fun. Crispy advertising. Crispy Alright, this looks like a this looks like a good place to stop here. It's like we had another yard sale here, but that's because we met up with the A-banger. What's up? Yeah, man, happy to have Austin around. He's always lifting the spirits. Mm -hmm. Brings the news of, of bears, big ones. And, and calories. And brings <laughs> lots of food. Makes us fat, which is good. Prize mm -hmm. size for the win, guys. Jeez, what a bunch of junk we got. Not even fun. <laughs> hey, I kind of <laughs> like that a little too much. Better watch it. <laughs> All right. Austin, my little GoPro. See, so watch this, Austin. So I'm going to do this, right? Oh. You have a built-in gimbal? Look at that. Up and down, up and down. Okay, now we're gonna stop this, so I'm still twisting it, right? Bears are running right now. Yeah, look at them go. Oh yeah. You trying to shoot a bear or what? Not a blackie. I can't for a grizzly bear. Mm-hmm. Heard that. If I went and bought a black bear tag, then I wouldn't see any black bears. 
She looks wet like she crossed the creek. She's coming. She's the Come here. You did. Congratulations, Timbo. Thank you. Oh, he's pretty. Oh, he's pretty. Gorgeous bear. 